So these are the cards that I just finished making. Oh, I think this is a pretty good job. Normally when I make cards for Christmas, I try to like glue things on them and make them more 3D like, but I don't really have glue with me. I didn't bring glue over here, so I just may do with what I had, which is I have a felt -a pen, I have pencil crayons, and I have cardstock, so. And I also have the internet, so I searched up some designs on Pinterest and then, yeah, this is how I got them. It's pretty cool. I accidentally smudged the Christmas here because what I usually do is I take a pencil and then I outline what I want to draw and what I want to write. And then uh, what happened was um, I then uh, usually put a felt tip over or like a marker over. So with the felt tip, I did these bobbles and then I erased it, which was fine. But then I used some dollar store markers on these. And little did I know that while erasing the markers, it would smudge. So it smudged all this red marker on the Christmas and I was able to clean it up a little bit with my eraser. So it just kind of looks like a banner or something, which is okay. But then the green was kind of funky, and it's kind of black, and it's kind of green, and then it just smashed all over my fingers, the desk, and I had it all over the card. So I had to like clean that up really quickly. But yeah, those are my cards, and it was really awesome making them. I think it took about two and a half hours to make all Good morning, guys! And it's Bogmas Day 25, and that means it's Christmas! So, Merry Christmas to all of you, and Happy Holidays, and I hope that you're having a great time with your families for whatever you're celebrating this holiday season. And thank you for sticking by Vlogmas for so long. I can't believe it's already been 25 days, even though I skipped, like, a lot of those days. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching my vlogs, and today I just... Uh, I didn't just wake up. I woke up around like 9 a.m. or 8 a.m. Something like that. Tofu kept coming into my room. He's just down there. If you guys can can see his little head sticking out. He's waiting for me to eat my sandwich, which I'll show you guys in a second that my mom gave me. I went downstairs and my mom was like shocked to see me because she forgot that I was staying over. So I was like, oh, okay. Um, yeah, so we usually don't do our Christmas um, opening and uh, festivities until the evening because uh, we invite my aunt and um, my cousins possibly uh, to come over and then we do like everything at the end. I did open Dan's presents uh, first though after waking up because I know that his family celebrates it um, very early and so i didn't want him to wait for my reaction all the time because every single year he's always waiting for like the evening for me to be like oh thank you for getting me so and so so I opened them first and there was a lot of them so I'd feel really weird if I brought them all downstairs. So this is my sandwich right here it is with I think this is chia batter bread it's that bread from like Costco that's really delicious and then there is some lettuce in there and some mayo. I normally don't eat mayo, but I can stand olive oil mayo, so it's awesome. And then there is some jello, which is Vietnamese sausage. Uh, it's pork sausage, so I'm gonna eat that. And then I will probably just watch a bunch of YouTubes and, and take a shower. Hey guys, how's it been? So it's actually day 26 of Vlogmas and technically Vlogmas is only supposed to last till Christmas but I did not show you guys what I got for Christmas yesterday because I just didn't have time to whip up my camera and it was already getting really dark by the time um, I was able to film, if that makes sense. So I'm actually back at home now and I have a lot of things to do this evening. I will show you guys what I got um, for my presents and then I am going to wash our pillowcases for the couch, so our uh, throw pillows, just because uh, they've been used for a while now and they haven't been washed in like two months so I should definitely go and wash those because you know it's always good to have clean pillowcases nearby and then I am just going to put away some food that I got brought back from my parents they gave me a lot of leftover stuff from Christmas dinner so uh, mashed potatoes with like all the 
vegetable things that come with it, like the corn, the peas, the carrots, and then some roast beef on the side. So I'm going to eat that for some dinners and some lunches this week. I might eat one of them for dinner today because I haven't actually eaten dinner yet. I woke up pretty late today. I woke up at around noon uh, because I was up all night reading manga. Literally, I was reading for like seven hours straight in my bed, uh, just on my phone reading manga. Like, yeah, I've I was just like so into it and then I took a nap of five hours and I woke up. So yeah, then I had to go eat lunch at my aunt's house. So then after that I just uh, wrap things up and then pack things and then came back here. So it's almost seven o'clock now and I will go and show you guys my gifts. Yeah, I am, I'm really out of it today so. Okay, so I'm just sitting on my couch here so I can show you guys things a little bit easier. Uh, Dan got me a lot of gifts this year and I feel really bad because I did not get him as many gifts as he gave me. Uh, and uh, it's really interesting what he gave me so I'll just show you guys right now. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys are Pokemon fans. But uh, I, late, uh, earlier this year, I got an obsession over nano blocks or micro blocks. They're basically like tiny, tiny little Legos, and you're supposed to build like characters, buildings, anything um, that they pretty much make them for um, with them. And then, so Dan went and got me so many of these nano block things. Um, so I believe this is Squirtle. Kind of looks weird. I don't know about this nose. And then I got Blastoise, then I got Charmander, then I got Pikachu, and then Farfetch. We joke about Farfetch a lot because uh, we were looking at green onions and like leeks the other day, and we talked about them, and we're like, isn't that the thing that Farfetch always carries with him or her or it? And yeah, so I guess that's why he got it for me. And then Bubblesaur. So pretty much. All the starters are here, and then we've got the Blastoise and the Farfetch, and yeah, I guess Pikachu is the starter too. And then he also got me this Gudetama luggage tag, which I adore. Um, this will be very handy because I lost my previous luggage tag. Um, I bought a luggage tag from the dollar store, and then I guess during um, like uh, the process where they're like throwing it on the thing or it's going through the conveyor belt the tag just got like ripped off literally but it was only a dollar so that's okay um, but this will be a cool luggage tag to use um, so yeah this lighthearted luggage tag helps you find your luggage and makes them makes traveling fun yay so that's good I'll be that person with the Gudutama luggage tag and I wonder if I can put like a card in it or something like that because usually that's what people do to help identify their bags too. One of these um, blind boxes or mystery boxes. It's a Gudetama one and I really was ex hoping to get this one which is the um, Namata, the Namagohan. I can't remember what it's actually called in Japanese but it's basically like a raw egg on top of rice. So it'd be Gudetama on top of rice and then one that I got is, whoa, shake it out, okay. Um, so the one I got is, I got a little plate, and then I got like a bowl, and I'm guessing this is um, like some kind of soup, like miso soup. Chopsticks, with the chopstick holder, and then onigiri, and it's actually a good atama onigiri. And then after that, I discovered uh, this headband. So we've actually, we were actually eyeing this in Hot Topic when I went to go Secret Santa shopping. And then uh, if you guys remember in my previous vlog, I did showcase this black and white one. And then I guess he remembered. So that was nice of him. And I will have to find an outfit that this will go together with. I guess like a black t-shirt it would go well with or like a black and white outfit or something like that or something dark and then he got me some polar bear pajamas which is totally really cute um this might be a little bit too big for me i haven't actually tried it on but i do shop at la Vion rose quite often for pajamas and stuff so um i'm usually an extra small but this is a small and um 
I could try an extra small, but then I asked Dad about it, and he said that the salesperson told him that um, these tend to shrink in the wash, so maybe I will just stick with this. And Santa also got me this robe. This very nice plush pink robe with white snowflakes on it from La Vie en Rose. And I have been eyeing the robes there for a long time. And I'm always very cold at home here because, you know, I'm trying to um, conserve energy and I don't like to use the heat that much. And so this is perfect. It is so warm feeling and it's so soft and has pockets and put my phone in there and stuff and yeah it's pretty awesome yeah that's what i got for christmas so thank you dad mm. now i am just going to clean these pillowcases here and hopefully they will dry quickly because i want to lounge on the couch and like watch a little bit of youtube and then uh maybe play some overwatch but i need to clean everything in the house so that's what i'm going to be doing today and i don't want to bore you guys with that because cleaning takes a long time and i need to use both my hands to clean and i don't have a gorilla pod or a drone or whatever to follow me around with the camera to show you what i'm doing so yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here so thanks so much guys for watching vlogmas and for sticking around for so long I am sorry that the last few vlogs I've had were like over 20 minutes long, but I needed to cram like a bunch of days in. So thank you so much for your patience. And if you want to see more vlogs on this channel, please make sure to subscribe by hitting the subscribe button below. Leave a comment below to uh, let me know what you thought about Vlogmas. And then give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down and explain why you hate me either or. So yeah, I will see you guys sometime later when I vlog next. Bye!